guys, it is Wednesday morning. It is a gorgeous day outside. I've got about a dozen eBay orders to ship. And since it's so nice out, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my garage door. All right, let's get to work. First thing I'm shipping out, I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This is a Worth softball bat, the Filthy HPS. I picked this up in Fort Wayne with that big lot of toys and video games and all the other stuff I bought. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is an A4. This is a Great Courses DVD set, Understanding Investments. Got this for a quarter of a garage sale and it sold for $12.99 free shipping. Next is a watch over here in D3. Actually sold a couple things out of here, so I'm just pulling the whole bin. All right, let's see. First thing is this N64 jumper pack. Um, this is also part of the stuff I got up in Fort Wayne, so I don't hardly have much into it. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. There it is. This is a Timex. Got this at a garage sale. It was a whole bag of watches, maybe like five or six of them, and they were only two bucks. So I've got about 50 cents into this. It sold for $16.99. I also sold this Super Nintendo. Unfortunately, this did not work, so I had to sell it as is. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple of garage door openers out of here. Um, I got these two openers and this remote keypad at a garage sale. I guess it's been about three weeks. I paid $5 for all three, and I just sold each of these remotes uh, to two different buyers uh, for $14.99 free shipping. Okay, moving right along, I sold a few things at a D6. There were some uh, NASCAR diecast cars that I listed yesterday, and I sold all three of them. Let me pull some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, we got a Dale Earnhardt Jr., a Jeff Gordon, and the third one. Who is this here? Austin Dillon. The Jeff Gordon and Austin Dillon both sold to the same buyer for $39.98. Plus ship. Those two cars are going out to your name, Randy. Randy, thank you for the support. Really hope you like those cars. This Dale Earnhardt Jr. one, the buyer bought one more thing. I'm sorry, two more things. First is in C1. It is a Charlotte Hornets hat. I got that for two dollars at the garage sale. And the other thing is an A5. It is an old program from a uh, Navy boxing tournament. Actually, I think it's in here. Yeah, I'll we'll just keep it in there to keep it safe. Pretty neat from 1948. I got this up in Cleveland with that big a lot of stuff that I bought. The hat and the program sold for $51.98 plus shipping. And the uh, diecast car sold for $14.99 plus shipping, all going to the same buyer. Christina in Hawaii bought all that stuff. Christina, thank you for the business. It means a lot. All right, next is a B1. This is an Army license plate, new in the packaging, sold for $8.99, free shipping. Okay, I sold another console as is, it's an E1. This is a Nintendo Wii, powered on, but I couldn't get it to play games, so I sold it for $19.99, free shipping. Next is down here in C5. It is a battery charger, the Works brand. I got this for $2 at a garage sale last weekend, and sold for $29.99, plus shipping. Next is a hat in D2. This is a vintage Super Grandma mesh trucker hat. Only got about 50 cents into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday afternoon. I just got back from hitting some garage sales and I've got about 15 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing is this pair of boots right here. I just sold another one of these the other day, actually. Got these uh, retail arbitrage. I paid $8 for them. They sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is right up here, big stack of pennants. I listed all these yesterday and I sold a pretty good number of them. Let's see, the first one I'm pulling is Hideo Nomo. I think he's actually at the bottom, so I'm gonna just flip this over. That was the first one I listed. Yeah, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping, and this is going out to a viewer. Jorge says, this is so awesome. Third purchase from you. Wanted to ask if you have any recommendations for label printers. Yeah, so I actually use the Dymo 4XL. I've had it now for about a year and a half. I absolutely love it. It's nice not having to buy ink or toner or anything like that because it's a thermal label, so it just is totally free of all that other stuff. It just spits out the labels without ink or toner or anything. So I really like that. It's not cheap, but you'll save the money by not having to use ink or toner or any of that stuff. Um, there's also one called a Rolo that I've heard a lot of people use and they seem to like. I've never used it, so I really can't see whether it's good or not. Uh, but those are the two big ones that I think would probably work out best for you. Okay, next pennant that sold is um, New York Mets and St. Louis Cardinals. 
think it's like an NLCS pennant. This guy right here. That's pretty cool. The 2000 NLCS. This one also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is a Mike Piazza helmet, or I'm sorry, pennant. Mike Piazza pennant. There it is. And I do believe that one sold for the same price. Let's double check here. Yep, that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This guy asked if you're named Randy. Randy, thank you for the support. Really hope you like the pennant. Okay, one buyer bought both of my Yankees pennants. Let's see where they're at here. Um, this one right here, 96 World Champions. And there's a smaller one in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, same buyer bought these two for 19.98 plus shipping. Those are going up to your name, Andrew. He says, I'm a huge fan of your channel and first time buyer. Thanks for all the wonderful content. Best wishes to you and your family. Andrew, thank you so much for the kind words and I really appreciate your support. All right, that's it for the pennants. So I will go ahead and put these back. Let's see where we're going to next. D7 is the next thing. It is a rock candy figure. Uh, let's see, it's Batgirl. This one right here, this is part of that stuff I just got up in Fort Wayne. This sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Keith in Minnesota bought this. Keith, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is a die cast truck right up here. Dub City Big Ballers. This is also part of the stuff that I got up in uh, Fort Wayne. The box wasn't in great condition. I listed this for $30. Somebody sent me an offer of $25 plus shipping and I accepted. Todd and Rhonda bought that. They didn't say they were viewers, but based on their message, I think they might have been. So Todd and Rhonda, if you're watching this, thank you for the business. It means a lot. All right, I don't know what I was thinking. There was something else in D7 that sold. So we will go ahead and bring this down. It is this pop right here, Mega Man Proto Man. Um, Viewer got this, the same viewer that got all those other Mega Man Pops last week. This one sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to Adrian. Adrian, thank you for the business. Really hope you like the pop. This thing's an A2. It is this train right here. This uh, Rail King Caboose. This is also, again, part of the stuff I got in Fort Wayne. Um, so I've maybe got a couple dollars into it. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This thing's in D3. Go ahead and bring this bin over here. It is a watch. One of the ones I got at that garage sale last weekend. Just a big bag of watches for a couple bucks. So I've maybe got 50 cents into it. Um, had to sell this as is because it needs a battery. This sold for $12.99 free shipping. Next thing is the C1. It is a PS2 game. Let's see here. I guess it's probably near the bottom. Yeah, here it is. It is Ark of the Lad. Twilight of the Spirits, that sold for $9.99, free shipping. That game's going on to a viewer named Dustin. He says, hey John, I'm a big fan. Just wanted to thank you for the education and reselling. You, among other YouTubers, pretty much took me from zero to being pretty profitable part-timer. When I found your channel, I was pretty much giving stuff away at the flea market and not making much. Now I'm finishing my first year on eBay and I'm way better off. You and your family are such a positive influence. We need that these days. Thanks again, P.S. May I have some stickers, please? Dustin, thank you so much for the kind words. I really hope that you just do awesome with the reselling. I'm happy to help any way that I can, and I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. Next thing's down here in D6. It is a Bible. Where's that? Right down here. Picked this up at a sale maybe a week or two ago for a dollar. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, come back in here because that same buyer got something in this bin that I just listed yesterday. It's this knife with a sheath. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. And I was wrong, the Bible sold for uh, $19.99 free shipping, not plus shipping. Both of these are going out to your name, William. William, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, last thing I'm shipping out is a pink Cadillac. I think it's just loose. I don't think it's in a bin. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Uh, I got this last weekend at a garage sale for $5. It sold for $19.99. Plus shipping. It's Friday afternoon. I hit some garage sales this morning, but I'm back at the warehouse now and I've got a handful of eBay orders to ship out. Definitely over 10, maybe closer to 15, I think. First, I've got two questions from viewers I want to answer. First is from Harvey Strauss. Hello, John. The question I have, the way you put items in the storage bins makes no sense to me. They have many different types of items per bin and some in different bins that have the same type of item. How does that work? So when I list things and I fill these bins, I don't try to put all the same things in the same bin. Uh, one reason I do that is because if I put like 
all the video games in the same bin, it would make it hard to find the one that sold when I popped the, when I pulled the bin open, you know what I mean? If I'm just looking for a whole bin of video games and trying to find the same one to make it a little bit harder to find it, take a little bit more time. The other thing that I try to do is I just try to fill up the space in the bins as best I can to utilize the space. So that could mean that there's like some PC games in there, there's some hats, there's a pair of shoes, uh, just random. I'm just trying to fill the space. So that's kind of my thought process whenever I'm filling these bins. Next is from Matt Lavelle. Dear John, do you ever feel that you are underpricing certain things or is that the whole point to you removing them quickly? That is a really good question. So I do tend to price things to sell quickly because I don't like to sit on them for months or years or anything like that. I usually price things at like the average selling price or a little bit below, somewhere between like the low end to the middle end is kind of like where I like to be because I like to flip things quick and reinvest that money into other things. I really don't love the idea of trying to get the absolute best price for something and waiting forever for that thing to sell. That's kind of not my mentality. A lot of people talk about, you know, a fast nickel over a slow dime and I'm definitely the fast nickel kind of guy. I've seen other eBay sellers that do uh, ask for like top dollar and they pay for, you know, sponsored ads and all that and it works for them. I don't think there's one right way to do it. I think it really depends on your situation, how much storage space you have, how much working capital you have, and how easy it is for you to find inventory. If you can't find inventory very easily, and it's only every now and then that you're sourcing stuff, then you might want to price things a little bit higher and, you know, keep your store a little bit, you know, fully stocked, I guess, in that regard. All right, we're pulling orders now. First thing is down here in C5. It is a necklace that I found last weekend. Uh, this is, I think it's called Trafari. Yeah, I think it's Trafari. I might be mispronouncing that. I got this for a couple dollars and sold for $19.99 free ship. Next is a Lord of the Rings action figure. Actually, a set of figures. I think it's this one right here. Got this up in Fort Wayne with all those toys and stuff. Uh, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is an A4. This is a Disc Disease Solutions DDS 500. It's basically, it just wraps around your back and uh, it's supposed to give you some kind of back relief. Got this a couple months ago to garage sale for $5. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is a laser disc. I've still got a couple laser discs left. Just kind of hanging out over here. It is 38 Special, Wild Eyed and Live. I got this, gosh, maybe like nine months ago. It was a big bulk purchase with a lot of other things, and I don't think I've got much into this. Probably 50 cents or so, if I had to guess. This listed for like $25 plus shipping, and somebody reached out and offered $19 plus shipping, and I accepted. That laser disc is going out to a viewer named Steven. He says, thanks, Sean. Keep up the good work with the video posts as I continue to learn. Can you give my eBay store a shout out? It's Pickers Sale, or if I'm being too greedy, I understand. No need for another sticker, keep it for another buyer. Steven, I'm happy to shout out your eBay store and I appreciate the thought on the stickers. I'll pass it along to somebody else. Thank you for your support. Okay, next is in C10. Let's pull this down here without spilling anything. All right, let's see, we are pulling Overwatch DVA Mecha. Okay, there's a couple of Overwatch in here. I think it is probably this one. Yeah, DVA with Mecha. This right here sold for $7.99 plus shipping. That same buyer bought some other items. Uh, looks like five or six Funkos, and a few of them are here in C10. Uh, let's see. Aquaman uh, Black Manta. That one sold. Ready Player One Artemis. That one sold. I think it might be this one right here. Yep, that one sold. We've got Overwatch Cupa Deadly Winston. That one right there. And the other ones are in D7. So I'm going to put this back. Grab D7. And we're pulling X Men Negasonic. Teenage Wasteland? Teenage Warhead? Yeah, I don't know why I said Wasteland. I was thinking of the Who song, I guess. All right, that one sold. Um, let's see, Ikora Destiny sold. This one right there. I think that's it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this one was purchased separately, and then all five of these were bought together for $33.95 
plus shipping. So as always, I will combine all into one box and refund them the difference on shipping. Those are all going out to viewer named Richard. Richard, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like those Funko Pops. Okay, next thing is a lot of video games. I think they're right here. Let's see here. Yep, that's them. Okay, this is a lot of how many? 27. 27 video games. Wii, Xbox, PS2, just a big variety. None of them super valuable, unfortunately. Um, also, it was part of the stuff I got in Fort Wayne. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next is a B1. It's actually two action figures. Go ahead and pull both of these out at the same time. Um, first is Walking Dead Rick Grimes. Let's see, where's he at? There's Rick. And the other one the buyer got is Michonne which is right here. Uh, these two sold to the same buyer for $15.98 plus shipping. Those are going out to viewer named Mike who bought some other stuff for me last week too. I think he likes those Walking Dead figures for his son. So Mike, thank you for the support. Really hope your son likes those. Next is another Walking Dead thing over here in D3. This is sort of like a Lego type thing, but not actually Legos. Uh, this is the governor's room. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in F6, which is an NES game. It's baseball. Let's see. Must be all the way down here. There it is. This is the five screw version. This sold for $11.99 for shipping. It's going on to a viewer named Luis and he says, hi, me and my daughter watch your videos every chance we get and she collects stickers. I hope you can send some Scentsy Picker stickers to add to her collection. Thanks, keep up the great videos. Thank you guys so much for the business and I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right, next thing is an F4. These are Hunter Fan replacement filters. I got these at the garage sale two months ago. Paid $2 for the pair and they sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, I guess I sold something else out of F6. Just didn't realize it. I sold this denim jacket. This is a vintage Wrangler jacket. I got this from Danny and Parker up in Piqua. I guess it's been about a month now. It was part of that just big bulk bias stuff. So I maybe got $5 into it. Um, I cannot figure out a size on this thing, unfortunately, which I think hurt the value a little bit, but I did put all the measurements and dimensions and all that in the listing. Uh, this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, just a couple more things I'm pulling. Um, one is a Miller Lite Barry Sanders glass right up here. So I'm gonna set the camera down, pull that thing down here. Gotta move Santa Claus. Let's put Santa Claus over here. Got a lot of these in a garage sale, maybe like six months ago. Got about a quarter each into them. And I've sold most of them already, actually. Some of these are NASCAR. Oh wait, no, I've still got seven or eight of these. Uh, Barry Sanders Hall of Fame glass. This sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, Santa, I'll put you back where you belong. Last two things are baseballs. One's an A4. This is a Chattanooga Lookout signed baseball. You guys have seen me sell a bunch of these. Got these in Tennessee. Got less than a dollar in each one. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the very last item we are pulling is the same thing. It's a baseball right here in F3. Same thing, a signed Chattanooga Lookouts baseball. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, before I end this video, I want to update you guys on my momentum board and I'm going to draw a postcard for the monthly giveaway. If you guys don't know about the momentum board, uh, I did not start this. The Crazy Picker Life started this like probably two years ago. Um, the idea is just to keep track of how much you're listing, track, you know, keep track of how much you're selling. And it just really kind of keeps you accountable of like how much you're getting done over the course of a week. I like doing it. I try to keep it updated as much as I can just because it, you know, it really gives me an idea of what I'm listing. And it's no secret, the more you list, the more you sell. And I always see that when I list more. So this week was awesome. Let's see, Monday I did 34 listings for $931. Tuesday was 20 listings for $371. Wednesday, 27 listings for $514. Uh, yesterday, 20 listings for 517. Today, 12 listings for 225. Total on the week, 113 listings for 2558. Last week was not great, only 50 listings. Two weeks ago, did 90 listings. And as of right now, my active listings, here, let's take a look and see. Active listings are at 488. 488, I would love to get that up over 500 next week. All right, we're gonna do two drawings this month for giveaways. If you guys don't know about this, I do it every month. And 
All you have to do to enter is send me a postcard. My PO box is down in the description below and I draw for a winner for um, to pick anything they want out of my Teespring store. I've got t-shirts, mugs, uh, decal stickers, I've got hoodies, there's like, I think there's hats, there's all kinds of stuff. So one winner is going to pick what they want from the Teespring store and another winner is going to get five Ikea bags. You guys see me use Ikea bags all the time, I love using them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just really like their bags. They're handy to take to the post office with all my packages and stuff. So somebody's gonna get those too. So first winner, pick one here. Not looking, I promise. Uh, we've got Jeanette Farley, uh, fellow Buckeye, she says. You and Lonnie and Justin are my favorite YouTube channels. Love the videos, keep up the good work. Thank you, Jeanette. And you get to pick anything you want from my Teespring store. The link is down below in the description. Let me know what you want and send me an email at cincinnatipicker at gmail.com. And the second one goes to, I'm trying to move these around in here. I don't just pick what's on the top. All right, next one goes to Vic's Village. Uh, yeah, Vic in Georgia. So. Vic, send me an email. Um, let me know. I guess I've got your address here, so I could just mail you those IKEA bags. Surprise you, even, even though if you're not seeing this. So, congratulations, Vic and Jeanette. And guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.